friends, Robin here with Matman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes year round. It's a Veterans Day, so happy Veterans Day. Um, and thank you to anyone who has served in any capacity, whether that's overseas, here in the States, or just as a family member um, serving by contributing your son or husband or daughter or whoever um, to the service of our country. I am in such a good mood because it's the first day that it feels like christmas -y to me. Um, usually by now we have all of our Christmas decorations all over the house and Christmas music is playing 24-7. Um, but this year's just been different because we were on vacation in our head we skipped Halloween and so nothing has signaled the transition from fall to winter in our house until today because it finally dropped down to like almost 50. So here in Texas that means big oversized sweatshirts and Christmas is here. So I've opened the windows, I've lit all the candles and I have a yummy, my favorite coffee it's still a frozen coffee because it's only like 55. But <laughs> to us, that's winter and cold. And um, I just, I'm so happy. Also, I'm happy because um, on Wednesday, you guys saw, I posted my video about whether thrifting was okay or not. And on that day, they handed me a little coupon that said, hey, everything in the store is half off on Veterans Day, so come back. So I did. And guys, the bug has bit. I got so much stuff and I can't wait to show you. I know it's a strange time to be doing a haul. I need to get those boxes out quick. But I just, I wanna share my joy with somebody that understands. And Matt Man, you know, kind of smiles at me. He enjoys it because I enjoy it. But you guys get it, especially the hunt, especially the bargain shopping. Um, especially the great deals and the Christmassy spirit. I even have some like Christmas ambiance YouTube going on back here. So let's jump into it. Here is my receipt. Yeah, I went crazy. I spent $37.83, which is kind of a lot for my one, like one stop budget. I try to keep it lower than that when I do go out and shop. It just helps me throughout the year to rein it in as much as possible. We aren't, you know, well off. We are rich in the sense of um, life and love and family and even in comparison to many places around the world. But here in the States, we are very, very middle class, if that's what you want to call it. So $37.83 is a lot in my little budget, but I can't wait to show you. I'll get the first, the big one out of the way. So the consensus was that shopping at thrift stores is perfectly fine. And when you guys gave me that green light, I went nuts. I'm still doing my best to get only new items in the box. And again, kind of like when I'm shopping on clearances, I don't care what the box looks like. I don't care if the item inside has slipped off of its like backing. As long as the item is still new, I'm happy. And these girls are definitely new. Look at them, aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness, I love it. So, like I said, they have slipped off their backing, but they're brand new in the box and no one's ever touched them. So I wanna get one out and look at her with you. Um, I'm gonna leave this here. I forgot to get scissors. I will be right back in just a smidge. Click, whoop. Okay, scissors, I'm back. They were just in my little cart, but not within arm's reach. So let's see if I can get into this bad boy with you guys here. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Grab a coffee, let's open up thrift store finds here on the channel. So much fun, so addicting, I love it. 
Of course, I was the first person there. Um, the store opened at nine o'clock this morning and I thought, oh, I'll get there at 10 till and I'll be the first one there and I'll get all of the good stuff. Guys, I got there at 10 till and there were already people like in the store walking around getting all the goods and I was like, all right, I'm going in. Um, most other people were there looking at clothes and Christmas decor. So I was lucky that no one was after toys yet. So um, I can't get everything because it is still really attached. <gasps> but look at her, oh my goodness. It is, they are twins, right? So they're um, marketed to be like a twin box. She is just beautiful. Her eyes do open and close. She's such great quality. She has a soft, squishable body and those beautiful little toes. Oh my gosh. I love her. Her clothes are adorable. I'm gonna sneak a peek at the back. Okay, so this is what her body looks like. Um, you know, it's interesting that it's pink and she is not a, you know, light Caucasian skin doll but I am so happy to pick her up, her and her little sister, one and two. And they have all these little um, accessories. I don't know if you can see, there's two bibs up here, there's two pacifiers, there's two rattles. And then down here in the bottom, there's like a birthday cake stuffy. So I can split these things up between two boxes or maybe even send them in as filler. I love it. It was originally $14.14, so I paid $7.07 for two of these beautiful babies. Aren't they beautiful? <gasps> I love them. Oh my gosh. So many great finds already. I'm gonna put her in there gently. Oof. I didn't look gentle, but my dog Bella is also really excited. She's sniffing around. Um, she is a pit bull, so she doesn't have any fur, and this weather is too cold for her. Like, she hates the cold so bad. So we have her sweater on her just for when she's in the house, and then when she has to go outside, we have this jacket that just sits over here on this chair, and she will not go outside without her jacket on. She's so cute. Okay, next thing. Let's see here. I got these. They are little craft kits. You can make a Mrs. Claus and a Santa. There are eight in each package. I got two packages. They were $2.42 originally. So I paid $1.21 for each of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna break them up into um, little boxes and send them in as boxes. Break them up into little sets and send them in as filler to the distribution center. I will put a Mrs. Claus and a Santa in each little packet and send them off. So I got eight little craft kits for $2.42. I love it. Can't wait. I'm gonna do this later today. I'm gonna put on some really cheesy, sappy Hallmark Christmas movie and we're gonna make Christmas craft kits for the um, processing center and I can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited. Today is the first day of Christmas for me. Mm. Next. Okay, okay. Oh, another Christmas crafty kit. This is obviously pretty old. I would say it's probably from the early 2000s or late 90s. Yes, okay, right here. It says 1999, if you can read that. It's great. But that doesn't stop what's in here from being amazing. It is, oh, that's in, in French or Spanish. It says holiday bead kit, and it makes 10 sets of these bead things at the, the um, store, it was originally $3.93, so I paid essentially $2 for this. Amazing, I love it. Let's get in here and see. I wanna open all these things with you because it's just fascinating to me. Wow, look at this, it comes in its, this cute little zipper pouch. Um, the little zipper itself is a little rusted, 
So I'm probably gonna break these up into little kits anyway. So we don't, it doesn't matter that the zipper is a little rusted. Bella, she's eating her breakfast. Oh, look at this, how fun. So they're already all broken up for me. This one says Frosty the Snowman. I don't have to do anything. I just have to take these out and turn them in. Kringle the Mrs. Santa Bear. Um, Chris the Santa. Polar the Snow Bear. Christian the Mrs. Santa Bear. Phil the Stocking. Oh, that's cute. Phil like P-H, Phil and the Stocking. Brave the Toy Soldier. Oh, I need to figure out what these go to and if I need to put them in each kit because it's just a bunch of pipe cleaners. Oh, here's one. I guess somebody, somehow, this was very much, I just opened it in front of you, but someone already made one. So here is what it looks like. I think it's pretty cute for a little Christmas craft that can go easily in any box, any gender. Maybe not the two to four year olds because those are not exactly like normal sized pony beads. They're kind of small. Um, what else do we have? Saint Nick the Santa. Ring the bell. <laughs> cute. And Douglas the tree. Oh my gosh. So how many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I guess this guy is just a bonus because it said 10. I don't know, so cool, I love this. I'm gonna read the packaging a little bit more and see if what I need to do with these pipe cleaners and I love it. I would pay $2 for all of that and I don't have to do any work. I can just send them in just like this. Love it, love it. Mm. Okay, next. Yes, look at this. Okay, so her box is all beat up. There's like tape all over it and it's just not the best condition of box, but I don't care because I'm taking her out of the packaging. She was originally $6.96, so I paid basically $3.50 for her, and she's beautiful. Look at Rapunzel and her hair. I love it. it. She even comes with a brush, which is rare these days for Barbies. Let's see what year she was. This is so much fun. Thanks for coming along with me and um, fueling my addiction. It doesn't say. Oh, 2010, so she's 12 years old, but that's okay. Because maybe the girl she's going to is 12 years old and they can be birthday besties. Love it, love it. Next is another Barbie doll-ish. Look, it is an Elsa doll, she's so beautiful. She was originally $6.96, so I got her for basically $3.50. I love it, I would pay that all day. And there isn't even anything wrong with the packaging. In fact, I could find out a way to erase this and give this as a Christmas present right now because she is in perfectly new condition for $3.50. Love it, better than clearance prices. I'm so excited that I have stumbled upon this new thing that will be a constant in my shoe boxes from now on. So thanks friends. All right, what else do we have here? Let's see, I'm gonna pull this out. This is interesting, um, stuffies are interesting, but this whole bag, I could count, you know, five or so stuffies and I thought it was worth it. And it was originally $3.99, so I paid essentially $2 for it. Let's see what the quality is on these and if they are ready for boxes or if they're gonna get redonated to this thrift store. So here is the first one. He's cute. He's a little smiley face and he is shaped like this. It's not, he's not deformed. He is this shape. 
He is perfectly clean and soft and new, in my opinion. His tag does not have a year on it, so I will definitely, I think I'm gonna send this in as a filler. I love this, so cute. I just can't think of a current box that I have that needs it, so it's going straight to the processing center to add to a different box. What about this one? Oh, this little monkey is so cute. Look at him from the front holding this little heart. I'm sure it was some sort of a valentine. Really cute, but his little monkey tail is busted. So he is going back to be donated to the thrift store. Um, what is this one? Oh, this is another little emoji friend. This will be so good for a, a boy box. How fun is this? I will keep this because boy stuffies are hard for me to find. He even still has his tag, guys. I think that's so cool. I love it. Um, the tag does not have a price on it, so I don't know how much it was originally, but this is great. I'm keeping this for a boy box. All right, now we've got to, down to the little TY stuffies that I could see in here and the reason I picked this bag. Look at this, a little monkey. He still has his um, TY tag and his name is Sweetheart the Orangutan. He, he's cute. Again, I think I will keep him for a boy box. Oh, she's a doll. Look at this. This is Springy the Lavender Bunny. She still has her tag too. So cute. I wonder, um, this says the year 2000 on it. Yes, marketing for McDonald's. So these are the teeny, teeny TYs that came as McDonald's toys, but I think they are perfect. They are really small. It's like the size of my baby hand. But I think that's perfect for those super packed boxes or like um, especially boxes that have um, soccer balls in them. It's hard to put a soccer ball and a stuffy. This guy's gonna go great in there, just kind of down in the side. Uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, here's this one. This is actually a teething ring and it makes a noise. I don't know, I, I would not have picked this up in the store on my own because I feel like it's too young. Um, but what do you think? It's in really good condition. I could re-donate it. Um, I could put it in a box or I could send it as filler. Uh, let me know what you think about the elephant rattle. Um, I don't know age ranges well enough. Two to four, is this too young? Let me know. Okay, more TY mini beanie babies. Look at this guy. <gasps> Perfect for a little like water themed. So cute. It's She is like a, um, a jellyfish. Her name is Gucci. <laughs> Gucci the jellyfish. So cute. Here is another one of those bunny rabbits. The lavender bunny. And here's the last one. <gasps> I love it. It's a chameleon. Oh, it's an iguana. Iggy the iguana. <gasps> a teeny beanie baby. I love it. I'm very pleasantly surprised with this purchase because the way they crammed them in there, you couldn't really see. But for $2, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stuffies i love it these are perfect for fit fitting in the tiny little nooks and crannies total score for two dollars would buy again wow okay we're not even halfway there friends this might be a long video all right these two um i think are gonna go into the same box this is a Fortnite doll, and his packaging is all torn to bits, but he is the Black Knight, and he's poseable. Um, I have a dragon box, maybe even two in the works, um, and I started off wanting to collect knight, like, like, I don't know, like medieval times, knights for it, but I just, they were so hard to find. Um, and I am pleasantly surprised I found this one. So let's see here. He is very well packaged onto it, but it's a better, 
you can see more clearly. He doesn't have any weapons. Um, let's see. I'm going to take him off and see if he, how well he articulates. What all on him moves and doesn't move. Oh, and his head. Okay. I think this is so fun. Okay, so his head moves just a little bit. His arms move up and down, but not his elbows. Oh, his wrist moves. And his his leg hinges, but that's the only place, not at the knee or there. So cool. Okay, he was originally $6.96, just like the Barbies. So I paid basically $3.50 for him. I love it. I would pay that all day long. So cool. And then I got this little mini version of something similar. So he's called the Dark, the Black Knight. Um, and this guy is called the Dark Voyager. Here is Here he is. I'm gonna go ahead and open him up. Since it's not a blind bag, you know, I always think that I would send a blind bag in for the kiddo as is and let them open it. I just never actually have, so. Um, he is a little keychain, and he was originally a dollar twenty-one, so I paid what like sixty-one cents for this. I love it, and he does have some form of a weapon. This is all kinds of new for me. Thrift shopping is new, and sending in a figurine with some form of a weapon. I just found out that if the figurine comes with a weapon that is small and obviously a play thing, that that is okay. And it is the big weapons that look like real world toys like swords and guns and bows and arrows and stuff like that, that could be construed as war items. Those are the things that are no. So. This little toy right here is such a stretch for me, but as you can tell, I'm so thrilled to have gotten him for like 60 cents, and it will probably go, in, even though it's a different character, probably go in the same box. So much fun. Oh, I found, and so much fun. Okay, so we did finally get like halfway there. That was one whole bag. Here is, here's my second bag. So, um, actually, since we are halfway there, I'll pause. All of this is from a local thrift store that it's just in the DFW area, so I can't send you guys there. Um, but I can send you to Goodwill. I did take a little pit stop at Goodwill, and I think this is the only toy I got that was not in its packaging new. Um, here she is. I think she's adorable. It is a little Cinderella. Hey, Cindy. Um, but the reason I decided she was okay is because her hair is still in its original, like, see, it still has rubber bands in it and has not been played with, obviously. She's still in her original dress. There's nothing wrong with her at all. So this is the first toy that I picked up that is just kind of a free for all toy. And my Goodwill was also half off today. So she was $3.29. So I got her for what? Like a dollar sixty, sixty-five. It's great. I I love it. I'm gonna take this off and show you how beautiful she is. So pretty. And then the other thing I got at the Goodwill were these socks. Brand new. Um, originally a dollar fifty, so I paid like seventy five cents for these aerial socks. Love it. Um, the lady told me every Friday, just at my local good Goodwill, if I come in wearing green, mm -hmm, that everything's half off. Um, so she gave it to me this time, even though I wasn't wearing green. She just was like, next time. So every Friday is half off at that Goodwill. Love it. Okay, so um, pit stop break time over. Let's get back to the local thrift store. This, this was the last thing I purchased. Um, I was kind of iffy about it 
because it was originally $8.99, which means that this was $4.50, which is still kind of high for me, right? Like, but I justified it because there are three toys in here and I have at least two Star Wars boxes so I can split this up. I will let Matt Man help me with this um, because he loves Star Wars so much. But, um, yeah. So this was the last thing I got. I had them do a little, like, um, subtotal for me. And it was low enough that I was like, okay, I, I can get this too. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I did. So here we are. Um, I will let, I'm going to wait and let Matt open this when he gets home. Okay, the last two things, they're kind of big, is this one. And this one was not in its new packaging either, so I fibbed. I thought the Barbie doll was the, Cinderella was the only one. But it still came with its original shelf, and this is what it is. It is an Abby and Emma... Um, Melissa and Doug toy and it is like paper dolls so it was originally $2.99 so I got this for a dollar fifty um, and I'm gonna break them up into two baggies of stuff and send them in as filler so for 75 cents each which is blowing my mind here is the first doll, here she is, so cute. And here is the second doll. Let me take these little closies off of her. Look at her, so cute. And then they have these um, different magnet clothes sets that come with them, like paper dolls, but magnets. And so I'm going to send them in as filler and just break up all these little clothes items that they have into two different filler bags. I love it. So much fun. Oh, so I, I, I just, it's opened a whole new world for me and I can't, I can't even. And then the last thing I got, um, we'll have to bust into this one too and I hope all the pieces are in it. Is this shiny little toy XOXO exclusive glitter friends. There's supposed to be 12 glitter friends in here and here's a sample. So cute. And here are the 12 that I'm supposed to get and they had them for $8.98. So I paid $4.50 for hopefully 12 little critters, which makes them roughly 30 cents a piece-ish. And I thought that was a great thing. Again, I will probably break these up into filler items or put them in big pencil packs, but I couldn't pass them up for 30 cents a piece. I hope they're all in here. Let's open it and see. Okay. Come on, scissors. I know you wanna work. What year was this? 2019. So it's a couple years old, but it's still new in the box, it looks like. And yeah, I think they're all here. Um, they have little accessories, and those are floating around. So I'm just going to pick them up, see these little accessories. But as far as all of the glitter creatures go, they're all here and adorable. I'm very happy I got this. Look at them, oh my gosh. Let's see, which one do we wanna look at? Let's look at this little pig, he's cute. Okay, I'm gonna pull him out. <laughs> he's a little glittery pig, his head moves. And then they have these little accessories over here. They're all wings that go in the back. And now he's an angel pig. Glitter Angel Pig, I love it, so cute. Great price for 30 cents. A whole new world has opened up to me of thrift store shopping, brand new items. I got everything I just showed you. 
Um, $37 at my one store and then like less than $4 at the Goodwill. I had so much fun. Thanks for issuing in Christmas with me. Thanks for coming along as I unboxed my haul and just had so much fun. Um, I love you guys. I hope that this encourages you to look in, in new places. It doesn't have to be the thrift, sh thrift store if you're not comfortable with that yet. I get it. Took me years to work up to it. But maybe check out your local grocery store. I get tons of stuff on clearance there. Um, if you're a Target girl, venture off to Walmart and see what's at Walmart. There are all kinds of places to get all kinds of goodies to go into boxes or to send in as filler. And I hope that you guys are having a great Veterans Day and are ready for Collection Week, which is just a couple days away. I will see you soon with another unboxing because I gotta get to crack a lacking on those boxes. Anyways, that's it for today. In case no one told you, I love you a lot. Bye.